Hey there everybody, Ranroth back with Newport County, Lead 2. We're hosting Northampton. Those guys are flying pretty high, so it's probably going to be a tough match, but we've got a fairly solid lineup in there, so I think we might do okay. The only news we have to talk about is that Adam Chapman is back to full fitness, and he's in the lineup today. I think that's him right there. Yeah, there he is. Anyway, so let's get into the lineup. Uh, after the howler that Silvera had last game, we're going to have Pidgeley in goal. Marco Somoza's playing it right back. Oh, there we go. There's our list. Yakubu and Jugu in the middle. Kumalo at left back. Bejarano on the right. Chapman and Klukowski in the middle. Sandel on the left. Rene Howe and Christian Jolly up front. So, that's all the, the normal stuff. Let's uh, get into... Our center mids, that's who we're going to talk about, but we got to get going. There's a lot of center mids, and they all have fairly decent careers, or at least a lot of stuff to talk about. So, let's uh, start. Let's open up with Adam Chapman, huh? Since you know, he's in our spotlight for being back from injury. Uh, first of all, he was scouted by Sheffield United. He played there from 2007 to 2009. And when he went on loan to, and he went on loan to Oxford, um, after being on loan there, uh, he was signed by Oxford the following season. But after a couple of months of, uh, going you have that almost, almost nearly goal. Um, so in 2010. Just at the end of that first season at Oxford, he was driving along in his car, you know, being a youthful, reckless 20-year-old. He was texting while driving, which is a bad thing to do. They have laws against that now, at least here. Um, oh, go on. How's that? Open oh, and it's in! That couldn't have been easier. How just left completely unmarked. Don't they know who this guy is? So, let's... Uh, watch that highlights while I continue home with Adam Chapman. So, texting and driving, and uh, while he was doing that, he swerved into the other lane and nailed an oncoming elderly driver and killed him. Man, that's a downer. I mean, that's probably the most depressing thing we've had in this series, despite all the stupid losses we've had. Um, so, uh, his... Uh, you know, his lawyers tried to defend as best he could, saying he had a really promising career that they really shouldn't, um, you know, give him any time in jail or anything. But really, reckless driving is reckless driving, and uh, the judge gave him 30 months in uh, in jail for his dangerous uh, driving uh, thing. So. Gonna give it back. Hooray! Mr. Lowcroft doing his duty. Um, so 30 months, 30 months in jail for doing something that everybody knows to be reckless and killing another human being. He got off light. Come on, let's let's agree on that. Not that I, I want to see him uh, you know, go to jail for longer. I mean, he is a good player. I do like him. But I suppose the only thing I really want to say from this is uh, you know, be safe, everybody. If you're driving, put your phone away. Going how? Oh, keepers punched it. Have it, Sandel. Uh, okay. So yeah, be safe while driving. Remember that part. Just put your phone away. You've no reason to be looking at it while you're driving. That's just silly. Um, but he did get out. Uh, you know, after just over a year. So, you know, good behavior, I suppose, might be a thing. Ugh, silly. Renee how he wants to do it all. Um, so let's see, what are we, what, what happened there? So uh, Oxford United supported him through that whole thing and uh, he came back to play with them uh, as soon as he was out of jail, which turned out being just over a year, 13 months. Not, not bad, considering he was given 30. Um, I need some help. 
There we go. Um, so let's see what happened after. So after that, he uh, came back to Oxford. They sent him out on loan to uh, Mansfield or Newport County. So it was his first uh, time here, and uh, and then the second season to Mansfield Town. And uh, at the end of uh, 2013, that the 2012-2013 season. Um, he was already in the set for a transfer to Mansfield, but you know, in the end he changed his mind and came to Newport instead. And here he is, playing and, like I said, the team is doing fairly well today. Just everyone seems to be everywhere. Man, Bejarano, what is he doing up that far already? Wow, you can't do it all. You're you're good, but you're not that good. Uh, if anyone, I, th I, th I think this is what I did. I think I changed the the speed settings of the game. I initially had it on slow because that's the way I like to play it, but uh, I think I bumped it back up to normal. And still, we're getting beat all ends up. Ooh. Okay, yeah, well, we didn't need that. You had time to you know, slip that a little farther. So let's stop giving it back. No, no time to move punish us if we give him the chance. Oh, how was that? And then he gave it away again. Klukowski with the tackle, and he's taken down. Come on, ref. Let's do your job. Okay, now we're on possession. Uh, not too far. Too far. Okay, let's move on. Lee Minshall. Um, he's probably the... He's a guy that's got a lot of experience. But at that, he's you know, one of the lower-ranked midfielders we have. But he's got a lot of experience. He did start low, lower down in the Kent League. Ooh. Oh, that's a late tackle one. Oh, what's what's he saying? What's Lowcroft saying? Is that, I didn't think that was that bad. What happened? What color? Or just a yellow. <laughs> I thought Lowcroft was going to throw us a scary red. At least not us. So, Lee Munchell started an amateur career in the Kent League with Sitting Morn. Ooh, that was a nasty one. But he got the worst of it until afterwards. And... Klukowski's doing a backflip. Jugu did not like that. Jugu say no. Um, so two years later, after uh, starting with Sittingbourne, he moved to Ramsgate, which was his main team for a little while. story, but you won't let me... Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, next thing. So, uh, while he was at Ramsgate, he did uh, do a loan in 2005 to Deal Town. Oh, what was that? Yakubu, you can do better than that. That's old. Um, but nothing came of that loan. He went back to Ramsgate and played there for another few years. And in 2009, he moved to the Tunbridge Angels. Another... Uh, Amateur side, not in the. It might be in the Kent League. I don't remember where they were. And I wasn't really. Didn't really put much focus on that. Uh, let's see. He had a great year with uh, with the Tunbridge Angels, and uh, he. Uh, got picked up by Wimbledon. Oh look, another Wimbledon Wimbly Wombly. And he was part of the squad that brought Wimbledon back up to the Football League. 
in January 2012, which was uh, Wimbledon's first season back up, uh, he went on loan to Newport. And uh, they liked him so much that they signed him at the beginning of the next season, and he helped Newport get back up to the Football League as well. Okay, moving onwards as we start the second half. Michael Flynn is our next center midfielder to talk about. He moved around a lot over his career. Um, he started with Newport, which is his hometown. He is a hometown boy. Too bad he's not going to be with us for too much longer. He's getting kind of old. Well done, Samuel. Not the best, but it'll do. Oh, Sandel, come on. You do better than that. Done. Here's counter, 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 counter. Oh, no, I didn't want to draw on that. Let's see for Sandal. Oh, too short. Uh, he's trying to find how at the back post he's lurking. Um, so, a year at Newport, and then he moved to Barry City. Striker working hard to make that tackle. So, um, Michael Flynn moved to Barry City, who are in the Welsh League. And uh, the season before, they had um, won the Welsh League, so they were um, oh man, good chance for Sandal. So. Um, what was I saying? Barry City had a... Barry City or Barry Town? I can't remember. Look, but Barry Town, not City, they're not that big. Um, so they had a place in the Champions League qualifiers. Um, they played against uh, FC Porto in the second or third round. And they did indeed beat them, the Portuguese Giants. Oh, that's a foul. Thank you. The Portuguese Giants got knocked out of the Champions League that year by Welsh winners, and Michael Flynn scored a goal. Oh, and another yellow card from Lowcroft. He's just handing them out like nothing. <coughs> so uh, that year at Barry Town, he got picked up by a much bigger side, Wigan Athletic, and he uh, played a few matches there over the next few years, and uh, he wasn't the first team player or anything, so. Um, he went on loan to Blackpool uh, in 2005, and at the end of that season moved to Gillingham. They uh, got relegated that season, um, but he was still banging in goals trying to help him out, but he wasn't able to save him from relegation. We're going how? Oh, over the bar! I know not a lot of people like to see just crosses for big strikers, but man, if Rene Howe's the only way we can get goals, I'd rather have you know, cheap goals than no goals, because that's how we lose points. Um, so, uh, he captained uh, the uh, Gillingham side for his th in the second year he was there. Jolly's offside. Yeah, leave it, leave, leave it, big boy. Oh, why'd you keep going? Um, after that, he declined to stay with uh, Gilliam and moved to Blackpool for a year. Um, he was released after that first year and then moved to Huddersfield. But he spent the first half of that year on loan to Darlington. After that year at Huddersfield. trying to work these gaps, and they are really a... There's many chances. Well done, Chapman. Sort it out, guys. Okay. Um, so after... Where is he at? Huddersfield. And being on loan to Darlington. He chooses to move to uh, Bradford City. And he spends three years there. Oh, go on, Jolly, have it! Oh, off the bar! Come on, somebody get that, somebody get that! And 
happened after three years at Bradford, they released him because you know, they dropped off the face of the planet. And uh, I guess couldn't afford to play, pay anybody. Oh, how's that for a ball? Chapman picking out Bejarano. Swing to the back post. Go on, open it in. Yes! 2-0! Rene Howe. He's my hero. So, uh, at the end of uh, Michael Flynn's time at Bradford City, he came back to Newport, where he's at now. Helped us uh, get into the football league again. And... Uh, out so far, I guess. He hasn't scored any goals yet. Um, with his career coming to an end, I think he's planning on staying with Newport. He's uh, taken over the job as uh, director of Newport's Youth Academy as well. So Even after he, his playing career is done, he's uh, going to be sticking around. Okay, next up, Jan Klukowski. He's on the field for us. Actually, let's make subs before we forget, because Klukowski's getting tired. Let's... let's take him out before we start talking about him. And also Jackson, Bejarano, and I think that will do it for now. So Jan Klukowski, he started his career at the age of 16 with Bath City. Citation is needed on that, as for about you know, most of his wiki page, because apparently no one can find any actual evidence of all this, which is you know, kind of bizarre. All the other ones are perfectly fine, but Can we make it three? Oh, he's offside. I thought we were going to put that in. Sandel's the right kind of guy from that position. Okay, so... A few appearances at Bath City for, uh... Jan Klukowski. And he went back to his hometown of Chippenham. And played a little bit there before he accepted a scholarship to Central Connecticut State University. Which is a you know, college I've never heard of in the East Coast United States. Connecticut, very small state. Um, so he played for, uh, um, the college there through his entire career, and, um, also played a bit in the development USL, the United Soccer Leagues, which is the, the lower tier in, uh, the United States. Um, he played with Ottawa Fury, Cape Cod Crusaders, who else? Oh, he's outside. Um, Western Massachusetts Pioneers. American teams just have to have mascot names. I don't know why they just can't be called Newport or Northampton or, I don't know, Chelsea. Um, so at the end of that, um, American period. He came back to England, tried to pick up a team. He had trials with Carlisle United and Swindon Town, but they didn't offer him a contract, so he went back to his hometown of Chippenham and uh, played a few games there. Uh, he eventually got picked up with uh, Four Screen Rovers, which is where he spent the, the next few years. Played a lot of games, scored a lot of goals. Pidgeley, get that out! Out, out, out! Man, they're just playing me off the ball. Oh, that did not work out. Sandal almost in a minute away. And they missed. Okay, um... So... Kukowski was a, the midfield anchor for four screen overs, a lot of games, a lot of goals, and a solid four years there. He got some move to Newport, a little move up, and that's where he is now. Uh, last one, Mark Byrne just came on as a sub for Klukowski. Um Irish kid was picked up by Nottingham Forest from his school, his school team in Dublin. He's offside. He's offside. Judy's got it covered. And they're, oh, they're going to call it anyway. Um, he played a couple of matches, but um, when 
Uh, Forrest were promoted to the championship. Uh, manager Colin Calderwood, who was a Scottish internationalist in his day, uh, said that he'd get a chance to uh, play next season. Give, his, give him his chance, but uh, it didn't really come to anything, and he was sent out on loan to Rushton and Diamonds was the first one. I think it was first. No, Burton Albion first, and then he helped them gain promotion into the Football League, where they currently are. Oh, there's full time. Let's finish up Mark Burton real quick. Uh, Lone Burton Albion, they got promoted. Rushton Diamonds, he had a good season but they didn't get promoted. Went up to on loan to Barnet again and uh, got them up to the Football League. Um, he was released by Nottingham Forest, joined Barnet for a few years. Uh, they got relocated. Uh, he did score the, the winning goal that got them promoted to the Football League in the first place. Uh, one more season at Barnet after they were relegated, and then he joined up with his ex Rushton and Diamonds manager, Justin Edinburgh, at Newport County. Thank you, everybody. Like, subscribe if you like that long winded discussion on our center mids. And if you like really sweet Renee Howe goals, um, comments down there. Let me, let me know what you think of the series so far. What should we talk about? What should we see on the field? Any ideas of you know formations or who should play or what position? Sure, send it all in. We'll see you in the next video.